Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. In contrast to my normal vlogs, it's actually early evening on a weekday. I have a fun event that I bought tickets to go to tonight. I thought it would be fun to vlog, take you guys along, and I'm gonna go ahead and put my makeup on. I have um, sunscreen on. I put on the Haru Haru sunscreen that I got recently. It has no white cast. I'm really liking it. It's a nice lightweight moisturizer with ceramides in it and easy to tolerate around the eyes. It's not water resistant. So, you know, it's not great if you're gonna be out doing sport or anything, but for the purposes of having a moisturizer on, it's great. All right, y'all know I've been using that brow gel from Ramen Endy, a Korean brand. I'm out of it. So I purchased this one on iHerb. It's by the brand Palladio. And it looks like it might be pretty good. So we're gonna give it a try. I took off the last deco. But you'll recall from last weekend's vlog, we went to Marshall's together and I tried on those two dresses, which I did not like there because I need a dress for this event. I needed a dress for this event. I had ordered a dress for this event and at the time of me shopping with you guys in Marshall's, I was kind of worried that it wasn't actually gonna get here in time. Good news, it did because yeah, like I said, those dresses were not, were not it for me. I'm still using this makeup mirror that I got on Amazon. I love it. Um, you can plug it into a USB or I have batteries in it right now, but it lights up. Um, and I love that it's collapsible. And you also can just fold it up and tuck it into like a bookshelf or something to get it up out of the way, which I also love. I don't like having a lot of stuff out and about. But you would never know that judging by like my countertops and stuff because I know I always have chaos going on. <laughs> So this event is, a, it's called a celebration of reading. It is a event that has uh, different authors and the book that I just finished on Audible, uh, Princess of Las Vegas, about the uh, Princess Diana impersonator in Las Vegas. The author is gonna be there as is the author of the other book I finished um, about a month or so ago, The Heaven and Earth Grocery Store. So I'm pretty excited and there's gonna be a dinner afterwards as part of the event. So it's gonna be exciting. I'm gonna take an Uber there because I don't want to have to pay to park and you know struggle to find a parking space, deal with traffic. By the time I do all of that, it's just much better to pay for the Uber I'm excited to, uh, to hear from the authors though. I'm not familiar with the other authors that are gonna be presenting, but y'all know how much I love books, so. I just got a regular ticket, but they have a VIP ticket and I'm kind of regretting not splurging for the VIP ticket because you get like, I think you get a swag bag and you get like a one-on-one -on -one time with the authors, like a little reception with them. So if this is good and if I enjoy it and I decide I wanna go next year, I may spring for the VIP. Yeah, this is a brow gel that's empty. I ended up really liking this. It came in one of the Korean advent calendars. I would get it again, but I always have to try something new. <laughs> I'm gonna come in with this twinkle and pop glittering eye stick. I love this for just a little extra jazz. This is a shade Fox. I love these flush bombs. Recently, I bought some Winky Lux because I love their mascara so much. I bought some Winky Lux um, liquid blushes. Man, um, those are really ba 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 boom. <laughs> With those liquid blushes, it does not take much. I mean, we're talking like a micro droplet over a limit to go from radiant to Rosie the Clown. <laughs> but this mascara trio, I'm telling you, I love the way my lashes look when I do this. So I take the primer, first swipe. The primer's called first swipe. Now that I have that on, I'm gonna come in with So Extra to the top. And to the bottom, I'm gonna come in with Detail Oriented. The Detail Oriented is like a real fine spool, but it nicely elongates those little 
lower lashes. Alrighty, I am all dressed and ready. I just have on this dress uh, by Vince Camuto. Got it on Nordstrom. This is the bag I'm taking. Isn't it cute? I've had this for a while. Um, it's by Mary Frances. It has a pretty chain with beads, the butterfly. And then this is the back. I have to put my stuff in it. I'm just gonna take my phone and get a credit card, but yeah. The shoes are also Vince Camuto. I've had them for a while. So I'm all ready to go. painted my nails with the OPI Nail Envy and it's the only thing that helps keep my nails from breaking. Like when they're growing out, I can actually grow my nails out when I wear it. Traffic is starting to let up a little bit. It's not too bad though. One thing you have to know if you ever come here is that the traffic is typically bad, worse, and horrible. Plus it's drizzling. Fortunately, I'm just gonna dart in so I won't get wet. This bracelet that I'm wearing, I've had for a couple of years. It's, um, Cirelli. They make, like, costume jewelry. Earrings are from that Fat Pet Fun Box. languages. He has received numerous awards for his work. It is a pleasure, it is an honor, it is a privilege to be with all of you this evening to celebrate what words and reading in books can <laughs> mean. But here is what also followed the pandemic of 1918-1920. An unbelievable literary renaissance. Fitzgerald, Faulkner, Hemingway, Langston Hughes, Catherine Ann Porter, Marjorie Kinnon Rawlings, Gertrude Stein. Whenever we think of that literary flowering, we assume it was a response to the mechanized carnage of World War I. Certainly I thought so. But in November 2021, I reread Catherine Ann Porter's magnificent novella, Pale Horse, Pale. Right. It's about the pandemic. And there's a scene midway through the book when the two young lovers, Miranda and Adam, are standing on the front steps of their boarding house, watching one horse-drawn hearse after another, club, 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 pass. And Miranda says to Adam, <clears throat> it's like a play. It's like a play. Because, of course, it was it is, and it was again, and that's when it first clicked. Perhaps that literary flowering was in response to the pandemic. And in 2022 and 2023, as I was looking at these astonishing books that are being published, books like Chain Game All-Stars, 
I'm Damon Copperhead, Tom Lake, the Great Divide. It began to dawn on me that our grandchildren, 50 years from now, are going to look back on the 2020s the way we look at the 1920s as an unbelievable literary flowering. <laughs> I appreciate that. I, I was a comedian for a long time, but my this is not my first book. It's the first book to be published. In second grade, I wrote a book called The Lonely Tree, <laughs> which was about a tree that was getting picked on by the other trees and animals in the forest. And he was very lonely, and so he cried. And when he cried, he grew and became the, the biggest tree in the forest. And then and then was chopped down and, and put in rock <laughs> foot. <laughs> Just finished dinner, but here they have more tables on this level. Gonna head on home. It's a great time. I'm in the Uber to heading home. I had a great time. The Hobby Center from the window. It's my first time in there. Well, I am back and I had a fantastic time. I had a great table with very friendly people. I got to network with some folks in the community, which was great. Um, and they gave out these swag bags uh, for the Literacy Foundation. And inside, everybody, these were at our tables. It's got a nice little pouch. Has a cute little tassel. I've said this before, but I can't get enough tote bags. I always use them, and this one's great because it actually has a zipper. Um, and everyone got two books in their bag from the featured authors. So I got this book, Belonging Rules, and then this one. This woman was uh, chief of staff to former President Bush, and she wrote a book about his life, and this is um, her newer book that is set to come out uh, with life lessons. I was really sad though because James McBride was supposed to be there, but he unfortunately got the flu and could not make it. So I've read this book, it's quite good, well I listened to it on Audible, and I just finished Princess of Las Vegas, and I really enjoyed hearing from him. And this guy, Gary Goldman, I have not read this book or um, anything else by him, but man, was he funny. He was really funny. Um, and I never heard of Brad Taylor, but there was also a silent auction. I didn't buy a ticket, but I'm gonna go next year, and I'm almost certain I'm gonna buy at least one ticket for the silent auction, because they had really good prizes, like, um, five nights at this home at last villa in Montego Bay, Jamaica. Um, this beautiful Astros quilt. Um, yeah, lots of good, lots of good potential gifts to win at the silent auction. The dinner was really good too. They had um, a vegan entree for me, which I really liked. They also had vegetarian options. Um, you know, you could specify on your ticket if you had some sort of food allergy or whatever. But yeah, they had all sorts of desserts and they had strawberries which were really good it was very well put together very nice and a lot of fun well guys i just hopped out of the shower i've got the lemon drop pjs on again i've been doing a moisture sandwich so i came in with hydro boost water cream love this natural moisturizing factors urea then on top of that i have my tretinoin which i'm rubbing in the backs of my hands here over that i'm going to come in with the phn this i talked about in my monthly um skincare product review but of all the products in this line like i said in that review this one kind of stands out to me as being the most interesting it builds itself as a mask but in my mind it's like just a facial moisturizer like they say put it on one or two nights a week 
and wake up the next morning you don't have to rinse it off or anything and i'm looking at the ingredients i'm using it i'm trying it out i'm like yeah this is like a, a richer balmier moisturizer um so i use it every night <laughs> you know why not um but i do it on top but when it comes to moisturizing with retinoids i don't consistently do i don't do the moisture sandwich all the time i've been doing it lately because i love this particular combination for moisture sandwich purposes but honestly like there's no reason to use like two different types of moisturizers right like you certainly can do hydro boost retinoid hydro boost or you can even do this phn uh, retinoid phn also i'll step out of the shower sometimes pat the drips away put my tretinoin on then put a moisturizer on over or sometimes i'll do an open-faced moisture sandwich where i'll put moisturizer on tretinoin and leave it be um, so it doesn't really matter so much other than the moisture sandwich or the moisture open face sandwich are good approaches when you're in the beginning um, as opposed to just putting tretinoin straight on because they do kind of help combat the dryness and irritation but honestly any way can be helpful truthfully oh, I had a really good time you know I really enjoy hearing um, authors, it doesn't matter the book. Like I'm not necessarily interested in all the books that were there. Although hearing the authors, I'm like, um, I might just have to read that. You kind of convinced me. Um, I just love hearing about authors talk about like what inspired them to write a book, the process, things they were going through. I love living vicariously through the writing process because, um, you know, when I was a child, I often thought I was going to grow up to be a writer because I always loved reading and I like to write and the thing is now I don't practice writing uh, regularly yeah I always thought growing up I was going to work for a magazine writing or work for for a while I thought it would be cool to be like a newscaster you know in a way I kind of do that to a certain extent on some level i suppose with youtube you know i'm kind of like reporting things to you guys i suppose um and you know as well as it goes as far as like skincare product reviews so i guess in a way it's kind of some sort of you know seven degrees removed from some kind of like journalistic hobby if you will i often think about having a career as a writer like i have ideas for stories but the thing about writing is that you need to do it a lot like you need to write every day to get really good at it and to stay good at it and to keep ideas going and developing those ideas and you know developing your writing and everything and i just don't have time right now to do that <clears throat> but i really enjoyed hearing the writers talk about their process like it doesn't it doesn't matter the genre like i'm not i don't like um science fiction uh or fantasy i like some science fiction like classics i like that are science fiction but i don't like i don't like a lot of the newer fantasy books and things i just never get into them <clears throat> and i don't like the slow burn type romance novels so much but when I tell you, I really enjoy just hearing any author, any any author talk about their process of writing. I find it fascinating. I don't care what type of book they write. It's another way of looking at reading above and beyond just like reading to get enjoyment out of the story, but more like reading to get enjoyment out of like literary writing process. Um, I just find it really, really fascinating. Um, and like I said, it's something that if I had all the time in the world, it'd be like another career I would try and pursue writing books. I suppose it's never too late. You guys know I'm a big library fan and it touched me so much hearing about how passionate those writers were about libraries and reading and everything. So yeah, I just really, I really enjoyed that. I hope you guys enjoyed what I was able to share with you as well. Anyways, make sure you come back for tomorrow's vlog. It will be of my Sunday, so stay tuned for that. Exciting stuff to come. I hope you enjoyed this vlog and that you're having a fantastic weekend. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. 
Bye.